Okay, so now question two. The question says that given that P equals Q minus T all over T plus one, make T the subject of the relation and also that's I, I find the value of P. Find the value of T when P equals two over three and Q equals three over four. Then the B part says that given that M equals two X over one minus X square and N equals two X over one plus X. Express in simplest form 2m minus n in terms of x. So let's start with the question A. So the A, that's the WASI question 2A. So we are expressing p minus q over t all over t plus 1 in terms of t, or we are making t the subject. So now what do we do? So what do we do? Now is this is in fraction. So we will clear the fraction first. So we will multiply this side by uh, t plus 1, multiply this side by t plus 1, or because we have only two terms like this, we can multiply, we can cross multiply like this. So we will divide here by 1, then the p will multiply t plus 1 over here, and also 1 will multiply the q minus t over here. Now this times this will give you pt plus p being equal to q minus t. Now from here we will group the like terms. Because we have t here and we have t, we are looking for t. So we group the like terms. We will bring all the t's at one side. So we bring this t over here. So we get p t plus 1 being equal to k o minus p. Because the, 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 the p here will come to this side, will cross to this side, and the, and the t here will also cross to this side. Now, after, after we are done, what do we do here? Because we are finding t, we have to factorize t out. So we bring t out, then we left p plus 1, bracket close, then equal to q minus p. Then what do we do? We divide both sides by p plus 1, since we are looking for only uh, t. So we divide here by p plus 1, and divide here by p plus 1. So p, p plus 1 and p plus 1 will cancel out. Then we're going to get t is equal to q minus p all over p plus 1 as our t. Now, the second question says that we should find the value of t when um, p is 2 over 3 and q is 3 over 4. So what, what does it mean? Anywhere we see p in the answer that we got, in this answer that we got, anywhere we see q, we will put 3 over 4 over there. Anywhere we see p, we, we put 2 over 3 over there. So let's do that. So we're going to get t equals q is, uh, uh, q is 3 over 4. So 3 on 4 minus 2 on 3, all divided by P. P is uh, 2 on 3 plus 1. Because they are all in fractions, we can also say over 1 over 1. Okay. Now, from there, we will solve the top differently, then we solve the down also dif uh, differently. So this is going to be, so T is equal to 3 over 4 minus 2 over 3. We will find the LCM of it. All divided by 2 over 3 plus 1 over 1. We also find the LCM of it. Now, we find the LCM of this. We get 12. So 4 goes here 3 times. Multiply by this 3. We get 9. Minus this goes here 4. Multiply this. We get 8. So here we are getting 1 on 12 for the top side. Now, the downside, the LCM will be 3. 3 goes here 1. Times this will give me 2. Plus this goes here 3 times 1 will give you 3. Then here we are getting 5 on 3. So now, the, now everything will turn out to be t equal to 1 over 12 all over 5 on 3, like this. Now we are not done. Now this line means division. So I can rewrite it in the form t equal to 1 over, 1 over 12 divided by 5 over 3. Now we can reciprocate this side of the uh, of the of the of the division sign so that it will change the multiplication. The proof is there. Maybe some other time I'll show you the why we have to reciprocate this one. Maybe in, in, in my next video I'll give the proof of that. So we get 1 over 12 times 3 on 5. Now what do we do? We can cancel out. 3 goes here 1 and goes here 4. So we are going to get t equals 1 on 20 as our final answer. So the value of t is 1 on 20 for the A.
So for question two, the A is this and the B, uh, that's the, uh, that AI, this is the AI, and also the II is this. Now let's come to the B part. Now the B part says that given that M equals 2X, given that M equals 2X all over 1 minus X squared, and N equals 2X all over 1 minus X, forget the prime here for me, then we should, we should simplify this in the form 2M minus N in terms of X. So let's write our question. Our question is 2X over 1 minus X squared. That is for M. Then our N equals to 2X over 1 plus X. And we are uh, simplifying it with the form 2M minus N. So anywhere we see M here, we will put this over there. That's 2X over 1 minus X squared. Anyway, we see N, we put 2X over 1, 1 plus X. So let's start. So we have 2M minus N. So we have my 2, then I'll bring a bracket. Now, the M represents this one. So 2X over 1 minus X squared. Bracket close. Then the minus in the uh, statement here, I'll bring it here. Now the N also will come. That is 2x over 1 plus x. Now, we can multiply this. This multiply by this, to get what? 4x. You, can't, you won't multiply this by the denominator too. You multiply it by all the numerator. Because if we have something like a bracket c plus d, we don't multiply this by this and this by this. We multiply it by only this. So you get ac over d, not ac over ad. This is wrong. This is the correct one. So when we are multiplying this one, multiply this by this, we get what? 4x all over 1 minus x squared minus 2x over 1 plus x. Now, this side is difference of two squares because of the minus here. This is x squared, and the 1 can also be 1 squared because 1 squared is the same as 1. So this side is difference of two squares. So this equation we have, or this statement we have over here, it has 1 plus x and 1 minus x. So we will find the LCM of this one. This can be found in this, because it's different of two squares. So we can have one minus S squared as a denominator. This goes into this one. Multiply by this, we get four X. Minus, this goes into this one minus, uh, this goes into this one minus X. And one minus X times this will give you two X multiplying one minus X, like this. Now from there, we can simplify the top. So still find the top, we will get 4x minus 2x plus 2x squared, all divided by 1 minus x squared. Now we can also simplify again, this and this can be simplified. Then we'll get what? 2x minus 2x squared, all over 1 minus x squared. Now we can bring something out from the top here, we can bring, two, because we have 2x here, and we also have 2x squared here, so we can bring 2x out. So we bring 2s out, then 1 will be left over here, minus s square, all over. And the down 2 is difference of 2 squares, so we can expand it. We can expand it to 1 minus x in a bracket, and also 1 plus x in a bracket. Now, this 1 minus x and one, this 1 minus x can cancel out. So we, can't, so we have 2x bracket 1 minus x bracket close all over 1 minus x bracket close another 1 plus x. So this will take away this. Then we're going to have 2x all over 1 plus x. So with this one, I don't think we can do anything to this answer again. So that is the final answer. That's the simplification they are talking about. So the final answer for the 1b is uh, 2x all over 1 plus x.